Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Eat the Blocks. In this video, we're going to see a gas parameter in Ethereum transactions. We're going to see gas price, gas limit, and how to set them. So in the last video, I told you that the gas cost in Ether is equal to this equation, weld allied. Actually, it's slightly more complicated than this. There is another parameter that is called gas limit. Gas limit is a parameter to limit the amount of gas that you spend in a transaction. So for example, if you have a transaction that becomes crazy and that would potentially wipe out your Ethereum account, well, with gas limit, you can set an upper limit and you're protected. So in Ethereum transaction, there are two parameters related to gas, gas price and gas limit. And when you set a transaction, you need to set them. So how are we going to do this? Let's start with the gas price. So to set the gas price, the first method is to use a website called eastgasstation.info. East Gas Station continually monitors the blockchain and calculates what is the gas price that is generally accepted by miners. And it gives you three recommendations for gas price. Safe flow, standard, and fast. So if you want your transaction to be mined really fast, you have to set your gas price to 10 GUE. And they say that it's going to take less than 2 minutes. If you set 6 GUE, then it's going to take less than 5 minutes. And if you really don't want to spend any money, then you can set your gas price to 1. But in this case, you can expect your transaction to be mined within 30 minutes. So the more you are in a hurry, the more you have to pay. And it also gives you an estimation in dollar for a simple transfer. For example, if you send transfer to another address, then with the safe flow recommendation, it's going to cost you this. Otherwise, it's going to cost you two cents something. Otherwise, almost four cents. In any case, all the figures that you see here depend on market condition. So when you have a look at East Gas Station, the recommendation probably would have changed. So there are some other interesting info on this website. So let's check the menu. And here there is a calculator. So with this calculator, you can estimate how long it's going to take you to mine a transaction for a custom gas price. So here, if I check other, I can put the gas price that I want. For example, what if I send my transaction with a gas price of 20 GUE and then instead of a standard transaction, 21,000 gas, what if my transaction is 100,000 gas? So I click on submit and here it's going to give me a prediction. So it says that it should take two minutes to confirm my transaction and my transaction fee in dollar is going to be this. So this little tool can be quite handy if you're doing some gas optimization on your contract and you want to make sure that no function execution use up too much gas. And the last thing I want to show you is the API of East Gas Station. So you can see it here. So this is a very simple API with a single endpoint and it's going to give you the same gas price recommendation I showed you before, but with an API. So you know what? We're going to try this API. So I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to curl their endpoint. So you don't need to create any API keys. So it's very easy to use. And it sent me this. So here you can see different recommendations. So if you want transaction to be mined fast, then you put this gas price. Then if you want your transaction to be mined even faster, then you put this one, 200 GUE. And safe flow, this is the minimum gas price that you should put. Otherwise, your transaction won't be mined. And the average is this. And if you want to know how long it's going to take you with this different recommendation, then on the documentation of the API, they tell you. So fast is recommended, fast expected to be mined within two minutes, fastest is 30 seconds, etc. etc. So this API is really convenient. Another way to calculate your gas price is to use the get gas price method of Web3. So you just need to call web3.east.getgasprice and it's going to return the average gas price in the last few blocks. All right, so that's it for the gas price. So next we'll see how we can calculate the gas limit parameter. So we can do this very easily with the estimate gas method of Web3. So it's very similar to a regular call. So first you need to instantiate a contract object, then you reference the methods key, then you reference your method, then you give it as argument the parameter you want, 
and then instead of calling the call method, you call the estimate method, and it's going to return an estimation of how much gas your call is going to take. Keep in mind that this is just an estimation because by the time you actually send your call to the network, the state of the contract might have changed, and so different code paths might be executed inside your smart contract. So this is one way of using the estimate gas function, but there is an other way which is not as convenient. So if you access this method with web 3 so you need to build yourself a transaction object with web 3 is send transaction. So this is a little bit lower level. So I prefer to use the other form of estimate gas. So that's it for the estimate gas method of Web3. So Web3 is not the only library to interact with a smart contract. And in a Truffle framework, instead, we use Truffle contract. Truffle contract automatically estimate the gas necessary for a transaction and fill the gas limit parameters of your transaction. So you don't need to manage this yourself. So by default, this auto gas feature is turned on, but if you want, you can turn it off. If you are using MetaMask in your DApp, it's important to know that MetaMask automatically manages gas price and gas limit. Behind the hood, MetaMask calls get gas price and estimate gas method of Web3. So this is very convenient and you don't have to manage it yourself. By the way, if you're interested in gas, you are probably also interested in solidity and I've prepared a very short email course where I give you all my secret tips for Solidity so you can get it for free. Just follow the link in the description. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll have an interview with the creator of One Click Dab that will explain you how you can create very cool project on Ethereum. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video.